Hey there, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm getting started right now in uh, what I think is going to be the first in a series of videos that I've got going over the Hearthstone pre made deck recipes. So, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, when you go to create a new deck in your collection, you are offered the ability to create a custom deck of your design, but you're also offered the ability to create a pre-made deck using one of their pre-supplied deck recipes. And these are kind of okay, uh, not so great in my experience, but I want to go ahead and test them out and sort of record my experience so that I'm not just maybe thinking they're not good. I want to see how, how good or bad they are, and I think this is a good time to do it. We are um, a little bit into the set release here, not quite a month, but um, a few weeks into the set release here, and we've already had one round of balance changes. So I think this will be a good meta to go ahead and test the, the pre-made decks and see how good they are, how good did Hearthstone, uh, how, how good did the Hearthstone dev team or design team, not really sure who makes the deck recipes, how good did they do with their recipes? So I'm going to get started with Field of Strife uh, here for Demon Hunter. And this is a token-based deck and uh, sort of built around, I guess, the, the new Field of Strife card, uh, which is a uh, field of effect that lasts for three turns, and it gives your minion plus one attack. So any minion on the board will have plus one attack during those three turns. And the idea of this deck is to flood the board with a bunch of little token minions. Um, use them to deal damage or make efficient trades with things like Field of Strife. And then through using those minions, um, get, getting them to die off, reduce the cost of, and I can't think of the name of the card right now, but reduce the cost of the big giant in the deck because it goes down by one for every minion that dies. And hopefully rush out a bunch of big, big cards right after rushing out a bunch of small token minions. So... Should be good for pressure. Should be good to control the board. If you're going against another board-based deck, this is a mage, which is not generally um, a deck that's really fighting for the board. I don't know what kind of mage is more popular right now, but we will see. Let's go ahead and just get out the Battle Fiend, get a minion on the board. I was going to start with Demon Companion, but I think that it has more use, um, more flexibility when you already have some minions on the board because you know uh, the ability to get the um, I don't know the demon version of Leoc, whatever that's called, and that can can buff up your minions. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the battle fiend out there. He's a pretty cool looking little guy. Oh yeah, so we're going against Wildfire Mage here. That's fun. Uh, they're pretty good at dealing. <laughs> they're pretty good at dealing with small minions on the board. So, that's not the greatest thing for us. Now I have an option here to put out the Ram Commander. Gives me a 2-2 on the board and two one ones in hand with Rush. But Mage isn't... I don't think this version of Mage plays a whole lot of minions. So I don't really see the, the benefit of having those one ones in my hand right now. I think what I'll do instead is play the Demon Companion and then Hero Power and Hit Face, which will buff up my Battle Fiend and get some juice out of it while I still got it. So yeah, that was, this gives me more damage right now. A little more pressure. And we can still play out our Ram Commander later, and maybe it'll be beneficial to have a bunch of 1-1s in hand. Maybe they will play some more minions. They've got the, um, I know they've got the, I can't think of its name right now, the 3-5 the that, that Euro powers every enemy. And I think they have, they may have like a Wand Thief, um, but I'm not really sure what other minions they've got. Okay, so this is obviously going face. No question about that. I think I'm going to trade my Peddler and then play a Ram Commander. There's really no reason to play out the Parade Leader. So let's start with the trade. See if that gets us anything different. Go to Strife. Not really good with just one minion on board. So yeah, Ram Commander's coming out. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not super confident in my ability to win this one. Um, 
power for the they just have a lot of walk. ways of dealing with the board like that. But now we do actually have some uh, some minions on the board from our opponent. I still don't see a lot of a lot of value. I mean, I can I can rush these these one ones out and clear their board, go face for two. I think I'm just gonna do that and play Sigil of Summoning. The alternative, I could play a Ram Commander, get two more one ones, hmm. and then have have a two two on the board with a two one. But they could easily clear that. I think the better option is to play Sigil of Summoning. Guarantees me two minions at the start of next turn. Now, they don't have Rush, so I can't really do much with them. I grow in the I even play right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Sigil of Summoning. I'm actually going to play a Ram and Hero Power. So the Ram. Take up the 3 1. I'll take up the 1 1. There we go. No reason to race the, waste the other Ram right now. I don't really care for token-based decks. Um, I, did, I did start with this one because it's the first on my list, but I, the, the token game plan's never really been super fun to me. You I would rather do cool stuff, discover cool cards, instead of just try to flood the board and hit your opponent in the face a bunch. It is a straightforward plan, but it, it's just dreadful and boring. So um, I will probably not play as many games with this deck as I might with some of the others. But, let's see here. Flink and Maneuver is not really good into a 3-1, or I'm sorry, a 1-3. It does nothing for me right now. I think... I grow impatient. Parade Leader into Ram Commander does let me deal with the 1-3. But... So does Field of Strife into Battle Ram and Hero Power. It's not super efficient with my mana, but... Job's done. It'll be good for the start of the next turn. Make my Parade Leader even stronger. I'm sorry, make my, my Ram Commander even stronger with his uh, subsequent Rams. Okay, so I don't know what secrets they do run to even know what secrets they would. But if I had to guess, I'm going to say that's probably an ice barrier, maybe. Could be a counter spell. It could be literally any secret. Okay. I think gonna play Ram Commander and Battle Warren Vanguard. Oh, okay. So that's not bad. I can do that. And then Battle Ram into their 2 2. I don't think I would have chosen that if I were them. I mean, I don't play a lot of good big minions. Like, I'm not really sure that you're gonna get a lot of value out of a mirror entity. I don't know what, what other options they had from their Pandaren Importer, but I don't think that was a super strong play. They still have been the best player, who I'm definitely not one to judge. So... This is looking pretty good for me right now, I think. Um, I believe... I'm going to Flag Runner into Flanking Maneuver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's me deal with the 2 3. This is our chance. Fly and also the 1 3 pretty easily, pretty cheaply and affordably. Still go face for 7. I mean, all this takes though is just, you know, one simple board clear from the. Uh, Reckless Apprentice, I think it's called. The 3-5. That would... Yeah, they'd be able to just play the Reckless Apprentice and Hero Power the 2-6 and clear up the board pretty nicely. So let's hope they don't have it. And it looks like they don't. They're still going to kill off the 2-6 here, I think, with the 
zero power. That's not. It's not great, but got a decent amount of damage on the board right now. So things are looking pretty good. I did lose field of strife. I'm gonna trade my peddler here. That is not what I want. Doing business. That's also not great. But I think it's the best thing I have. Which is sad. Kind of running out of steam here. And this has been my experience with this deck is that if it gets this far, you just do run out of steam. And I, because I don't like token based decks, I sometimes I think I spend a bit more time controlling than I need to. Because I play primarily control you style decks. And I think. Sometimes the reason I do make it almost there, but just not quite far enough, is because I too much focus on playing control. That wasn't super great for them. I kind of thought they were maybe doing combustion. <clears throat> so we know this is mirror. Is that lethal? No, not lethal, right? That's six, seven, plus. Um, Maybe three hero powers I can maybe pull out. Demons. And that's six. I will just try it. Oh, I've never been great at, in the moments that they're trying to figure out the math, so. There we go, that works anyways. So, that was pretty good, actually. Um, that, that fared a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not the best at piloting those decks. They're pretty straightforward, I just. I just focus too much on control, typically. Not enough on just going face. I don't really like the aggro game style, but yeah, they did pretty good. So that was a fun first game, and we will see how the rest of the games go. Thank you guys, and uh, see you in the next video.